Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a table in your database and how to insert data into that table using PySerial. First we need to open up MAMP. If you don't have MAMP yet, um, you need to see our previous video on installing and running and using MAMP. Um, if you need that, you can go to the online um, resources um, for the COS 120 class, or if you are an outside watcher from the class, um, you can just go to YouTube and search COS 120 um, installing MAMP. Um, but first we're going to open up MAMP, and then we're going to open up our start page, which will bring you to your local host, and we will go to our tools to our My Admin page. That way we can see all of our databases. In our previous video, we had our COS120 database that I had created. Now I already have a table that I'm going to recreate for you guys. So I'm going to drop it so I can create it again and show you guys how I created that. So if you haven't created a database yet, you need to either go to the previous video or just go to your home page and create a new database right here. So we're going to go back to my COS 121 and we're going to create a new table. I'm going to call it monsters and I'm going to have four columns. It's going to include um, ID the ID of the monster, the name of the monster, the type of the monster, and the health points of the monster. So I'm going to need four. So I'm going to click go. And it'll bring you to this page. This is how to set up your table. So I'm going to click on this first column. This is going to be my ID. This is case sensitive. So if you name it ID here, you're going to continue using the lowercase id in your pi serial code later on. Now the id is going to be a number so we want it to be int meaning integer. We're going to leave this the way it is. So, And then we're going to go down to your index and you're going to click primary because we want it to be a primary key. Click go. Next we want to have one called name. Now this one is not going to be a number. It's going to have typically some letters. So we want it to be character. And this one we will assign it to be 32 for the length. And we don't need to do anything else for this one. And type is going to be the same thing. Characters 32 for the length. And HP, which means health points. We do want this one to be an integer because the health points are going to be a number. And I'll just put a comment there for anyone who doesn't know what HP means. And I believe we just go down to save now. So once we go to our database at the top. You can see the monsters. If you look at the left panel now, you'll see our monsters. If you click on it, it's going to be empty. So you don't have any data yet inside of it. You can click on structure and you can see the ID, which is your primary key, your name, type, health points and it shows you everything, and you can drop or change this. So now we want to open up PyCharm to actually insert the data into your table. So if you haven't yet, you need to install Python 3.4, and if you don't have PyMySQL, which is a package installed, then you need to um, install that. If you're running Python 3.4, you 
you should pretty easily be able to install packages using pip. Um, if you go to your resources folder, you'll be able to find a link to this video. Those of you who are watching this not in the class, um, just go to YouTube and how to install Python packages with pip. Um, basically, you're going to run your command window and you're going to be um, typing pip install py my sql p y m y s q l um, right where he writes the matplotlib. So um, I would encourage you to go install that if you haven't yet because you're not going to be able to continue without it. Next, we're going to open PyCharm. I would definitely recommend PyCharm if you're using Idle currently. It's a lot easier to use. Idle is the default that typically comes with Python. So first we're going to create a new project. I'm going to name mine COS120. I'm going to leave it what they have as default. So now that I've created it, I don't have anything in my new project. So if you go to your resources folder, you'll be able to find the two um, scripts that are pre-written for you. Um, those of you who are watching um, who aren't in the class can just pause the video when it comes time. So first we're going to go to our downloads once you've downloaded these two scripts. Um, test insert and then our query test. So we're going to drag and drop into our PyCharm. If you don't want to do that or you, for some reason you can't do that, you can always just download them, open them, and then copy and paste them into your new file that you create. Right click, new file, and then you can enter the file name and copy and paste the scripts. So we're going to double click to open. We want to start with the test insert because we're going to be inserting the data. So first, this is the connection to your database um, using the MySQL port from your MAND with your username and password. So the port I'm using may or may not be 101. So we're going to open up preferences on MAP. We're going to go to ports. And it's going to be your MySQL port. Mine says 101, so I'm all set. Um, not your Apache port. It's going to be the MySQL port. So if this happens to be something different, then you need to change this in your actual script to match whatever your MySQL port is. We're using localhost. Currently, my username and password are root, so we're going to leave it at that. The database I created was COS120. If you named yours something different, make sure it matches exactly. It is case sensitive, so you have to make sure that all the uppercase or lowercase letters in your database name matches what you're writing in your script. So we're going to do the connection to the database using your port, username, password, the name of the database. And then we're going to make a query string using the commands of inserting into your database name here. The table name, we named ours monsters. And then the various attributes of your table. I used ID, name, type, HP. Again, case sensitive. Make sure that if it's lowercase, it's lowercase. If it's uppercase, it's uppercase. And then what we're going to be inserting is the values. So the first thing I'm going to insert is a monster with the ID of 1. Its name is going to be Dracula. It's going to be type vampire. And the health points are going to be 100. And when you're doing this, this is your quotation mark. But these are not apostrophes. This is actually the key underneath your escape key. Make sure you don't get those confused. Not apostrophes. So this right here is a pointer to your database. And this is a command to actually execute and insert 
the query um, string that you've created into your database. Commit is to save those changes to the database or commit the changes to the da database and then you're going to close your cursor and the connection to the um, database afterward. So um, now we're going to run the file. So you can either, I believe, right click and click run or you can go up to the top and click run. You may need to save. So now the process is finished with exit code zero. That's a good sign. If you get an error that says no module named my or pi my SQL, then you need to go to that video and using pip install the pi my SQL package. Um, if you're using 2.7 or some other version of Python, you might need to find another video to be able to install that package. So now that we've done this, we can go to our table again. We're going to click on this and we're going to click on our monsters. And now we see our data has been inserted of the ID of one, we have Dracula, it's a vampire with health points 100. Hooray, it worked! So now we're going to go back to Python and maybe we want to insert something else. We can change this to two. We'll do an ogre, we'll do Shrek. Spell ogre correctly. And we'll change the health points to 50. Now, if we save this and run it again, Process finish with exit code zero again. Click. We will run the table again. And now we have two things in our table. We have a Dracula and a Shrek of type vampire and ogre. Hooray! So now that we've added it, now we need to find out how to query the data. So this was our first script. Now we're going to open our second script, which we open a connection to the database again using the same port, username, password, same database name. Open a cursor again to point to the database. Now we're going to compose a query string. So we're going to select everything from our database and our table monsters. And now we're going to execute. This commented out is just to display the schema of the query. Don't worry about that. But afterward, we're going to print. We're going to print everything from each row. And then we're going to close our stuff again. So again, go up to run. We want to do a query test. And now it has printed to your console your two monsters from your table. And I think that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching.